Okay, people, this is Codex Report 25, June 5th, 1 in the afternoon. <sighs> Fukushima. I really don't think there's a whole lot that can be said about Fukushima. It is the cascading catastrophe that I've been talking about throughout most of my videos if you've been following any of my previous ones that I've done. Um, they now have announced that there's been basically a complete meltdown in reactors 1, 2, and 3. Um, the There's 4,277 tons of nuclear material stored and inside those reactors between what was stored there, the spent rods, new rods that weren't used, everything else. There's approximately 100 tons of radioactive material inside each reactor. Um, the readings for building one in the dry well were 250 sieverts per hour. And if you don't understand what that is, uh, it's 2,500 rem, or 2,095 uh, Roentgens. So, uh, this, this is so radioactive in there that you go in there for five minutes, and you're going to die. And it's not going to be, you know, two months down the road. It's going to be probably within three, three days to a week. Um, I was listening to a video about Chernobyl, and with the fuel rods that were blown outside of the building and with the graphite, they had to pay people to go around, and, and this is what they would do. They would go and they would find a piece of the core material or the graphite. They would pick it up and run as far as they could towards the reactor and if they could make it all the way they'd throw it into the inside of the reactor or into you know a wheelbarrow and somebody would then take it into the inside of the building and that was it and they were done that was their that was their lifetime dosage of radiation now the russians use several you know, 100,000 people over the course of the cleanup on this. You know, I've heard estimates of up to a million people over the course of the entire cleanup for, say, the first year or year and a half. The, <sighs> Fukushima is, like, at least three Chernobyls and then the radioactive wastewater that they have stored, the 100,000 tons of radioactive water, that's an entire another Chernobyl just sitting there that they have to process. So, you know, I don't, I don't think people really understand the, the seriousness of the situation. I'm going to state once again that I think the only way to save the island of Japan and to solve this problem, at least in the short term, is going to be placing a mini nuke inside the pile of each reactor of all three of them and if reactor four collapses they're gonna have to evacuate almost the entire island of Japan they probably won't but that's what they should do so um, yeah I'm calling for the final solution to the Fukushima disaster and it would be placing a mini or a micro nuke or some other exotic technology into the pile in order to eat up that radio radioactive material. Now, if we could do something using scalar wave technology or something else, you know, that would be great, but they're not letting us have that technology, so we don't know what it can do. So, um, next thing I want to talk about is the weather manipulation and the storms going on in the Midwest and across the United States. Uh, if you have watched Dutch Sense or um, some of the other people putting up the videos of the the weather modification stuff going on, you can see the radar rings, the beams, the spirals, you know, all kinds of crazy shit going on. And do I know that's what it is? No. 
but right where they have these intersecting rings is right where the biggest tornadoes and storms are. So it's fairly obvious that it's being manipulated. Um, the Middle East. Um, they raided the president's palace in Yemen, and he has left. Um, the Middle East is going to be an inferno. It's literally turning into hell over there. Um, good luck. That's all I have to say. Uh, the only other thing I have to say is that there was a, a story about an imam who several years ago had said, uh, if I want a sex slave, I'll get onto the market and I buy one. Well, they went back to this guy and they talked to him again. And he explained it a little bit better. And it goes back to the law of Ghanima. Well, the law of Ghanima is the spoils of war. That's what the word translates as. Well, the spoils of war are the items, the wife, the children, the cattle, the pigs, the goats, whatever. So when you take the spoils of war, then you have the right to do with that as you will. And that means that you are taking the women and children as slaves. And for a Muslim, if you are not another Muslim, then there's no problem with that. Because you're an unbeliever. And it doesn't matter. So... In response to that, I would like to say, live by your own rules. So, if you come over here, and you get your ass kicked, and I take your wife, and your kids, and I sell them into slavery, you have no reason to fucking bitch, because that is exactly what you would do to us. So all the shit about, oh, woe is me, we're being discriminated, you can shut the fuck up and go fuck yourself. If you act like an asshole, you will be treated like an asshole. And that's all I have to say about that. Now, the economy. Um, China has just divested of 97% of its holdings of United States Treasury bills. I'm not sure what their holdings of bonds and treasury notes is at the moment, but they had at one point one point one four or something trillion dollars in treasury bills. They have divested down to two hundred and ten point something billion, and now they are down to five billion. Yeah, imagine that. So. Guess how much the Fed is buying? A, like seventy percent. So, uh, yeah, interesting. Gold is up to fifteen forty-two. I think was when I last looked at it on Friday. Um, silver was thirty-six something. Buy silver and buy gold. They're only going to keep going up. And if they don't go up, keep buying because it's better for me and better for you and worse for them. I don't think there's a whole lot left to say so the sleeper must awaken and do not ask for whom the bell tolls it tolls for thee it's time to fucking wake up and realize that you are going to be a slave or dead if you do not stop participating and stand for something. I don't care what it is you're going to stand for, but at least figure out something that you believe in and stand for it. Because if you don't, die. Because you're just using up my goddamn oxygen. Have a nice weekend, people. Or have a nice week, I should say. Good night.